Welcome back. Smith is outdoors, sorry it's been a month. Um, I've had a lot, lot, lot on here uh, with the Bain family issues. Uh, but we'll, we'll get the video. What I said in the last video was me fire making. I'm going to show you how to make a bushcraft chair with four of these. Is the base and the frame. Then what I'll do is show you the items that I'm going to use, which is them four. Got some juice twine, um, ideal for the environment because it's made by plant, uh, plant base, I think. Um, very strong. And I'm using a, a back of Laplander, but yeah, back of Laplander. Um, I had this when I first started camping, and I'll show you other camping bits. Obviously, you've seen me other saw, but it's bigger. I started off with this one, um, and I've got the, the pouch for it, which is this tips your side um, I paid seven pound off eBay In my eyes it doesn't it's just a bit webbing so you could make it yourself but what I'll do is I'll show you how to start the chair and we'll we'll bring this back right what I'm gonna do is I've cut this one it was a bit long what you need is about I would say chest height for your base um, and I'm going to leave these taller, so about five, six foot maybe, six, seven foot. So I'm going to leave them tall, and then if I need to cut them down, I'll just shorten them. But the base, what I'm going to do, these is going to go through the, the thing, but I'll show you how we make it. What I'm going to do is I'll cut these 45 degrees, then they should stand like that. Now, duke twine. To make it into an A. So that's or a V upside down V first, then I'll make it into an A by putting a brace across. So what I'll do is I'll quickly do this and I'll show you the process how I do it. What it is, it's easier on this one because it's got a split down the bottom. And the split down there it should have. Yeah. So that's practically the V for that. So I just need to V it that way. For that so it should end up like that and then we'll show you how to do twine it together so what i'll do is i'll use a stump put the box of v in it you can do this with small saw half saw junior half saw adult half saw much easier or top saw Much easier with a longer saw because you get bigger stro strokes. Just be careful with your hands as you're doing it. It's easier to use live, live standing trees, but in this case, you don't want to be cutting trees down because the environment and the, the pandemic that's happening um, so in the UK we're back in national lockdown again uh, which that's why I haven't been able to get out as much so don't forget about that because that's not what the channel's about so we'll do the same again on this one just make it Right, so you've got your two V's, like that, and put them together, it's going to make your A, A frame, not too much, I'm going to have to chop more off this one to get it up, so I want them roughly like that, so we'll, we'll not trim them together, take a bit more with this one. 
door trial and error. Right, well this is going to be the base anyway, so what I'll do is I'll just have to chop, chop most of it off for the back, then we'll go from there, should have been, but we'll do twine these together and we'll do the same for the top, so I'll make that one the top and I'll make this one the front so we'll bring these back once I've done that one right I've tied that one and I'm going to show you how to tie this one on and then we need another brace but we're going to put this a frame on which you can't see in the camera but all you do is you get your juke twine um, or your paracord or rope and just basically go around what you've already done not too tight because you twine kind of snaps and certain certain strength you put on it and um, juke twine isn't good for this but it's it's not ideal but it's it, it works if you get the drift um, I don't know the strength of juke twine um because obviously it's for gardening so you can snap it by hand cut it by scissors it's it's not ideal for what I'm doing here but hopefully, push comes to show that it holds what I'm doing and doesn't snap. Because all you on social medias will kindly laugh and I'll let you. Because my channel is about the outdoors, having fun, um, having fun and a laugh basically. Uh, some YouTubers take it serious where. I do take it serious, I'm just, just like to show you what I like to do, how I do things, how I build things, um, and if you remember me camp from previous videos, I've decided that I'm going to rebuild it um, in the same spot, as you can see I'm in the same spot as where I says I was never going to come back, but you know what, kids aren't going to stop us from building. Yes, it's gonna get ruined. People say, "Why do it? Why build it in the same spot?" Because I've got no land, and we're in lockdown, and I can't physically go out with friends. Um, go with girlfriend, but not like mix from household to household. So basically, uh, it's just do the best I can. Um, you see me and Jake. demolish the old one so basically how I've demolished that I'm gonna rebuild it exactly the same way but not have a fire pit uh, not have a, a chimney as a fire I'm just gonna have a small fire pit and whatever's left just burn it and um, because when the winter now uh, kind of get hunting because the permission I've got at the minute is um, higgledy piggledy with the landowners and the commission the committee um, so what they do is basically they used to phone me to right we need you but at the minute can't do it because the committee's had an upset so basically can't go hunting at the minute which is understandable because the committee has got something to do with the landowner um, so we can't do any hunting videos um, 
not many people like her videos, so I don't think I'll, I'll do that, but I, I've done the gun review, and I'll do that again if people want us to, but I don't think I will. So, what we'll do is, once I've done this, I'll quickly whip the other brace on, and we'll go from there, because daylight's running out, I think it must be coming on 4 o'clock. So basically I'm going to get the video done to show you how I build this because when it's dark I'll not be able to do it until tomorrow and I don't even want to be coming for part two. And I can get part one done. So we'll bring this back once I've put the other one on and I'll show you the best way to go. Right, I've done the first one so I'm going to show you how to do it on this but what I'll do is I'll bring the camera to it as you can see I've tied it round there juke twine isn't um, strong as I thought uh, zip ties might be easier but that's not bushcraft and that's not how people do it so I'm going to do the same again to that to this then that one but I'm going to do it so it's further out so it's going to be like that I'll uh, tie it round and slide it through, but I need two posts, one for the top, one for the bottom. Slide it through, then I need a post for the back, but I'll use a tree as a stopper to do it. So, I'll tie this one together, then we'll get back here, and I'll show you how to tie the, the posts on. Right, so what I've done is I've 45 them, and um, I've had to turn this one round, because it was built out like an apex of a roof. So what I want to do is if I can do it without any help, that would be fantastic. Let's pull the juke tine tight, wrap it round a few times, go under, so you make the necks, and you're going to need loads, loads of it to get the strength that you need. And what you do is you tie it off at the end. It doesn't matter how much you use, you're gonna need loads. And as long as it's tight, it should hold its shape anyway. But what we'll do, you get the gist of me turning it round. So we'll come back once I've got it done and we'll show you on the next one. Right, my phone's just died, so I've had to use the friends. Um, I knew it would happen. But what I've done is I've put another post on. Uh, I might have to get some zip ties for, for the longer review and um, basically we're going to finish this off and we're going to put the buttons on so once I've done this we'll stitch it together and we'll basically show you how it's done then I'm going to sit on it no doubt my big bum and we I'll ruin it and snap and I look like a eating numpy on the video and walking home like I had an accident and then all the, all the members of the public can have a laugh and say look at him silly sods booked himself but let's hope it doesn't come to that stage but I'll just finish off tying this then we'll get the um get it up and running, sorted and show you how it, how it all works. So we'll cut back in, in a minute, and we'll get it up and running. Right, basically it's there, but I should have put one at the front, one at the back, but I've done one at the back, by mistake. Uh, there's plenty of videos on how to make bushcraft chairs, um, but with the light fading, we haven't got much time to, to re-erect it so basically what I'm going to do is after here 
from the Gibson zip ties and zip tied all the joints together because this twine it doesn't hold it as I thought. Basically I'm just bodging it for the time being until I get some zip ties and I'm gonna use it full time in just waddling where I am. Um, so basically once I've done this I'm gonna lat it out hope for the best it holds. If not, well, you just can all put up a new beam frame and get 250 pounds because I know it's not going to work. But truth be told, it might, and I might want to eat pellet by his own. So let's hope it works. But like I say, Duke Twine's only for gardening, so too crafty so I don't think it's gonna hold a 17 kilogram person in my eyes um, I think it's just gonna snap and make us look like an item on social media but some of you say here's a number some of you say well, just like to point out um, I think it's hand, handy, handy outdoors. Sorry if I got your, your name wrong. And uh, Noel, Noel Outdoors, I think you are. I want to give you a shout out because you've helped us through the past couple of days with your channel. Right, so I'm going to lat it out. That doesn't need to be there. I'm going to lat it now. And I'll show you how to do that. So basically, what you want is a nice clean stick. Just cut them off, which I shouldn't be cutting these because I need them. But for the purposes of video, I can get more corner. Right, one. Basically, you just find a fall of a log. And bits of it. Let's say that stand jump over a stump that wasn't meant to be there. But it's there and you trip over it. All I'm gonna do is cut. Not that one. Not too big. Not too big. Cut some smaller ones. And hopefully I can get the video from one phone to another because nobody not here. Let the phone die. But it's all about the dude. See how I told that one. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to fail, but I'm going to fall on my horse and make it look funny for the views. All about the views. Right. Basically, I should put a button at the back, but I haven't got time because the, the light's fading. So basically, what I'll do is I'll bring you in and show you. What I can do is put more on, but for the purposes, I've only got four, four of these. That's a back brace. So basically, if it all goes to fail, I'm going to land on that and it's going to hurt. But and hopefully it doesn't. So I'll bring his back around for the video. And as you can see, it's getting major dark. So truth be told, if it works, good for the drip twine. If it doesn't, and then it'll really kill it. So my idea is not going to work. So just for a bit of support. Uh, we'll hold it. Let's go for it. It's going to snap. Yes! Come on! So basically I've just made a bushcraft chair out of duke twine and I can't believe if the camera comes a bit closer 
I'll show you how hard I've got to snap this. And basically what I'm going to do is I'll wrap it around my hand, like that, juke twine. Hold on. And basically, oh, this is pull. That's all my strength to pull that, but it takes ages for the fibers. Come a bit closer. You can see the fibers, all the hairs. Well, I think the hairs are, I'll just say fibers. Um, because they're all intertwined, all into like locking, and it's all twisted. It's how the strength comes, it's all twisted and braided. But basically, I'm absolutely over the moon with my bushcraft tray. So, for being a month off, um, I never thought Duke Twine would have done it, but for the time being, I love me chair. So, thanks for the 41 subscribers, it um, means a lot. And we're, if you get us, tell you what, we'll do a, a giveaway. If I get to 100 subscribers before Christmas, I'll do a giveaway on a book of Bushcraft 101, or is it the Bushcraft Skills 101? Uh, I'll do a, a giveaway on that. So if I get 100 before Christmas, I'll definitely do a giveaway. So smash the thumbs up button, smash the share button. We're all on social medias, which is uh, Facebook, Smithy Outdoors, which is, is for that. And also on Instagram, it's smithy underscore outdoors. Um, I'll put the links in the description. Um, and probably the links for Duke Twine in the description, but pick it up from b &Q. Um, pound shops, basically craft shops. But yeah, I'm happy with my chair. Smash the thumbs up and hit the subscribe. Yeah, it's just kind of snapped. So I'm still happy though. I'm still sitting. Team on. Till I fall on my ass. Oh, still sitting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, zip ties and going to tie it properly. So it's going to be a long long bushcraft chair, so thanks. <laughs>